gems so um obviously i've been wearing this scarf for i think two videos it's time for me to comb my hair i think i've decided to do some stitch braids on myself now let me show you what we're working with i done took them loose a couple times in between but um no product it was blow dry but it looks like uh a mystery right about now so i'm going to give it a nice blow dry again on low maybe cool because i want my cuticles to seal back up and um yeah we i'm at least do the parting on this section because my daughter is taking a nap right now and parents know you have to take advantage of that nap whether you taking a nap or whether you're doing what you need to do let's go all right all right so for most of this video we are going to kick it voiceover style since i struggled to you know braid and talk because baby don't let anybody tell you that stitch braiding on yourself is easy it is not especially if it's your first time so give yourself a little grace now here I did tell you all I was going to blow dry my hair again with my hair dryer and straightener and y'all this thing is a lifesaver. So when I say get you one I really do mean get you one. I'm not just trying to sell you something. I'm not even getting commission for this so get you one. For my stitch braids I like to part my entire head into four sections and then part the front off in the design that I want and match the back up so obviously you see here i'm gonna go ahead and get this middle part down eventually the middle part didn't even really matter because i didn't braid down the middle part but anywho that that's neither here nor there i also like to part behind my ear because it's like my safe haven i know that the part is going to end up straight across my head horizontally so just my tip part from behind your ears up Now, I'm not sure if everybody has seen the trending, as they call them, Alicia Keys braids, but that's what my parts were inspired by. So I did go ahead and make sure that the front made sense before the back ended up a tragedy. So after I finish this last part, this is what it's going to look like, you guys. That's if you choose to follow this parting pattern. Really, you can you can do whatever you want to do. I'm not one of those people that tell you not to. All right, Jams, we are back for day two. Now, we're going to probably be a little clunky since, you know, Valentine's Day is coming up. I don't quite know what color combination we're going to do, but for sure it's going to be some more. For sure it's going to be some 1B involved. I might even go for the 27 instead of either of these. But um, these are both, whoa, no they're not. The red is a 42 inch and the pink is 52 inch. So we are going to see what I can come up with. Starting off on my first braid, y'all this braid whooped my behind. But anywho, I'm gonna mold it like I would any other braid that I do. And if you guys would like to see a little bit more detail in the molding process, you can check out my toddler hairstyle tutorial that I uploaded last week. 
Now we are going to go ahead and start what was supposed to be a stitch braid, but this one was a little questionable. But the first braid is always questionable. So of course I went back and did it over at the end. The process itself was pretty strenuous because reaching over your head is just, it's not a fun thing to do. So I did end up, you know, skipping over a couple of braids. Sorry y'all, but uh, we had to go ahead and get this hairstyle out the way. So once again, I am molding one of the last few braids on both sides. I like to comb it through, but in my case, I was braiding on myself. So, you know, that didn't always happen, but it's okay because it still turned out decent. Tell me how you want it, put me on my back, on my stomach Maybe let me blow it like a trumpet, I could do it all I could probably suck a watermelon to a straw Believe me, every other day you make new hair Come take me out to this new pair I be waiting on you for long To raise a down low like bombs to a boom Nothing but a robe in your house I wanna put this pretty pink clothes in your mouth Send news to your phone while you're working Boy, you gotta see me through the curse when you leave Something that has become pretty standard for me with my stitch braids is, of course, starting to braid down two, maybe three times, but for the most part, it's going to be two times before I start feeding in the hair. Now, I did end up figuring out that I felt comfortable with my braiding finger on my left hand rather than my right. I did not use the one on my right hand at all for what reason it was there. It was really just occupying space. But... Understanding the movement of the hair strands is going to be key in learning to braid on yourself because you can't see everything. And, you know, it's not really a bad thing, but you have to make sure that you understand which direction the hair is going, where your grip needs to be at so that your braids look good. Ladies and gentlemen, there's something about this yeah. girl, man, from around she my way. Well, Ever try to hold back your feelings? Yeah. Would it just be I am a feeder from the left for the most part. Sometimes I feed from both sides, but on myself, the left was going to be the best option for me to actually get the job done because baby, this was this was a task. It was still fun though. All right, day three, because I didn't feel like finishing the last two braids last night. Um, once again, 
I only have two braids left and I barely had enough hair, y'all. So let's go ahead and knock these last two out. I struggled to make it I definitely learned a lot about the movement of the strand so I think once I understood that on myself that was the key to actually getting the style done I will see you all next time and don't forget to like comment and subscribe let me know what else you want to see in the comments below bye bye, bye. peace <laughs>